Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to fix the problem for STM32 clone boards. This is Cube IDE. I try to flash the board, I get error like this. It won't happen for normal uh, original STM32 board. For the clone board, it will, it will happen. This one is a continuation of the video. I have done it here. You can find the installation of STM32 Cube IDE is here. Now I click OK. I try to click here and click Run Configuration and click Debugger. I used Open OCD here. I try to use GDB Server and click Apply, click Run. I will get the same, uh, very similar error. It won't. Out. I try to change the boot pin position also it didn't work here error in initializing a link device and i get error like this to fix this one we can use stm32 stlink utility for that what we need to do is we click the program right click and click select properties and select C++ build and click setting and uh, force build output this one and uh, tick binary file and also hex file these two and apply and close. Now what we can do is you can build the debug this button. Now it's done. Now when you click the debug and you have the hex file here where it's here. Now we go to ST link utility. I have already installed. If you don't have installed, you can install it. I have made a separate video which is available here how to install uh, ST link utility. Now open this and uh, click file open file now we have to point to the hex file the hex file is when you go to c drive if you install the cube id in default place it will be here in a c drive users and uh, my name is here. It's a computer name or your name. You have to select that one and uh, go below STM32 Cube IDE and uh, whatever the workspace I use this one YouTube and this is the project and now select debug and uh, hex file is here. It's a hex file led.hex open. Now it's open. Now you select target, connect. Now it's connected. Now target, program and start. Now it's programmed. It's uploaded. It's working. It's blinking every one second. If you want to modify the code and flash again, for example, if you want to change the time here to 100 and you, you make the LED blinking faster, you change it and you save and build again. It's built and it generated the hex bin list file. Now you go to stlink utility file open again and select the file again now target program start now it's done now it's uploaded again 
it's blinking faster thank you very much for watching see you next time bye